overcome it, face your fears. Oh, Jesus Christ. Good morning, everyone. So I'm getting ready to go hiking with Lincoln. I've got my water pack. I'm gonna take his e-collar just so that in case of anything, we run into wildlife or something. And I'm also gonna put the hiking pack on him. I'm gonna bring some treats just so we can do some training as well. A backpack for me to carry my water, my phone and whatnot. Basically, I'm like mentally preparing myself to go on this hike. When I'm in the mood to try something new, a new hike, I always get a little bit scared or panicky. Doing it alone, I mean, I'll have Lincoln there with me, but I'll still be alone and so many things can happen, so many bad things can happen and um, I kind of have to like talk myself out of that mindset. Just jump right into it, basically. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get Lincoln ready. It's supposed to be about a two mile trail and should take around an hour to complete. Super excited and nervous, but yeah, we'll keep happy, okay. Okay. Oh, I can hear Misty and Lucy getting excited. They're gonna get jealous because they're gonna see Lincoln going out. They're gonna have to stay, unfortunately. If it's a really tiny, it's really tiny, huh? Make it bigger. <sighs> He's already outgrowing this, or he already outgrew it, but he can still manage to fit in, which is fine. Let me put your treats in here. This is his treat pouch. Leave it in there. Your job is to carry the keys and protect mom on the trail, okay? Lincoln, sit. No. You're just gonna stay there? Huh? You're not gonna go? Oh, maybe you should take your ball. Where is your ball? I'm gonna take this one. And another one? Okay, and then we'll take the 16 foot leash. Let's get him in the car. Okay, let's go. Come on. Let's go, get inside. This good boy. We'll be back. You protect the house, okay? Lincoln, let's sit back. You can be up front right here with me. Don't be grumpy. Come on. Lincoln, down. Thank you. Good boy. A few moments later. Yes, good boy. So it's been a while since we've gone hiking together. I've never been to this trail, so super excited to see it. This morning I woke up kind of down. I like hiking because I can be with my own thoughts and just to clear out my head a bit and enjoy the peace and quiet as well. I'm excited to clear my mind and spend some time with Lincoln, some bonding time together. And also to take him out. He loves going out. He may not seem like he's excited right now, but he's, he's super content right now. He's, he can't contain himself. So here, why does this always happen to me? I have to use, hold on, hold on. I literally went to the restroom before coming and I have to go to the restroom again. I don't know why. Why this always happens to me. One thing to mention, it's always good practice to let someone know where you're going, where you're gonna be. I did text someone letting them know that I'm going to this trail. It was actually pretty hard to find the entrance and I kind of parked in an area that looks like I can park here. There are two other cars. There are probably also other hikers. Uh, that are parked here so hopefully I can find a spot on the trail where I can use the restroom if not I have to hold it <laughs> maybe once I start walking the urge will go away but you're gonna get down right now you gotta be patient patience oh my god 
you really have to use the restroom. Okay, let's go. Oh boy. I also I'm bringing his little water dish too, just in case he gets thirsty. All right, let's go. There's a dog up ahead. I'm gonna get his e collar out. He spots the dog. Come on, let's start walking. No. Good morning. Have a good day. You too. Come on. Good boy. You did so good. Yes, you did. So Lincoln did really well. That's the first dog we've spot. We haven't even started our hike. <laughs> it's such a pretty area. This neighborhood, I've never been in this neighborhood before. It's a really nice day today. It's in the 60s right now, so it's perfect, perfect weather for hiking. Um, it did rain this weekend. Lincoln, hold on. You gotta be careful, there are cars that pass by here. Okay? Look both ways, good boy. So the hiking trail is right here. I almost missed it. This says trail number two. Huh. Teddy's trail. Go ahead, go ahead. You go first. You want me to go first? I saw quite a few people out walking their dogs. That's not normal in my neighborhood. It's pretty active. I think this is like the trail right there. I might follow that out. Okay, this trail is supposed to be moderate, so not too easy, but not too hard. I forgot my phone in the car. <laughs> we have to go back. Oh my goodness, I thought I brought it. Yeah, I wanna have my phone on me just in case. I don't know if I'll get signal out here, but in case I do get lost, I will at least have my phone. So, let's go back and get it. Good thing is that I didn't put too far, so, yeah. Where's my phone? Did I put it in the bag, my purse? Oh, yeah, I didn't. <laughs> okay, you hold my phone too. Come on, let's go. Good boy. Is that a master? Yeah, a kind of corso. <laughs> Thank you. of oranges so pretty all right so force of habit leaving my phone putting my phone in my purse I'm not taking my purse I'm taking out a backpack um, go on. Lincoln he's staying in the streets all right so I guess since that I don't know if you can see that section looks to be closed out for some reason but that does look like a trail I'm not sure if that's the actual trail or maybe I should follow it. It looks a little easier. There's actually a path to it. Ah. Uh, Lincoln encountered someone today. He's pretty used to people coming out to him and wanting to say hi to pet him. He's very, very friendly towards people. I socialize him a lot. I take him out as many places as I'm able to and give him an opportunity to say hi to people, to meet people. Okay, maybe this wasn't the trail. Uh, I can't really see that well. Okay, I'm gonna go to that other pathway, the harder one, the original one. So, yeah, let's try again. I kind of see the trail there. So I think that's the one I'm supposed to take. I always try to give him an opportunity to say hi to other people. I want him to be friendly. I know that Kane Corsos tend to be pretty wary of people and I have seen him weary of people, but if we're just standing and there's someone walking towards us, then he has his guard up. But when we're just out and about doing some shopping or whatever the case, then he'll be fine. He won't be as weary of people, of strangers. Come on. <laughs> Don't be scared. Come on. Fine, I'll go first. 
hope we don't encounter a snake <laughs> or some kind of wild knife. I stopped for a second to take some pictures for the grams. Why do you keep doing that? You freak me out every time. He like stops and stares. Probably hears or smells something. It's like a very narrow trail. <laughs> I don't really go on narrow trails like this. And it seems pretty lonely. Not a lot of people here. There was a little bunny. How cute. I'm not really sure how far we're gonna go. Not sure if I'm gonna do the whole two miles or maybe a mile. There are two pathways. This is Teddy's trail this way. Oh, Teddy's trail that way too. Which way, which way? I guess we'll go this way. <sighs> not gonna lie. I am a little bit fearful right now because it is very lonely, very secluded, <laughs> very private, so I have yet to find anyone here. Almost creepy, <gasps> like a little too quiet. <laughs> a lot of lizards. I feel like I can probably maybe go behind one of these trees because I really have to go. I really have to use the restroom. I don't want something to scare me and then I pee my pants. Oh, Lincoln. Oh, I really have to go. I can't hold it. Okay, I'm gonna go. Lincoln, come here. Woo, okay, I feel so much better. Ooh, look what we found. Is this like a geocache? Oh, they're just little booklets. Cool. That was a geocache. Is this the beginning of the trail? Where am I? Oh, did we, did we go the wrong way, Lincoln? Oh, I think we went the wrong way. This was definitely not even a mile that we completed. Oh yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. This is definitely the entrance. Oh, there may be rattlesnakes. <gasps> oh my gosh. We didn't see that sign on the other entrance. Okay, well, let's go back. Guess we took the wrong path. We we're supposed to go right and not left. Right, Lincoln? Well, let's go back. Boy, careful with the ants. Come on, they might bite you. There's a lot of ants on the trail. I wonder if they bite. Okay, we've made it. So that was your off leash time. It kind of makes me nervous having him off leash here because I'm seeing a lot of wildlife and there was some kind of creature that caused a little miniature dirt slide on the hills. I couldn't see what it was, but I know it was something that lived in a hole. Maybe a bunny, some type of rodent, hopefully not a snake. So I've been walking for a few minutes now and oh, I see the fork. It's up ahead. So why do I put myself through this fear, through something difficult? I think it's good to face your fears. I always try to do something that scares me in life and just jump forward and risk it. I mean, you're not living if you're not risking, right? And. That's also another way to overcome your fears too, is just rip the bandage, just jump into the pool, 
just do it and overcome it, face your fears. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's a huge lizard. Oh my God. <laughs> Talk about getting scared. I'm not sure if the fear is showing through on the camera, but yeah, a lot of fear going on inside me. A lot of anxieties. This is a healthy kind of stress, right? Controlled. I'm able to say, okay, that's enough and leave when I want to. So it's a pretty safe form of stress. After I complete something hard, I always feel much better. I feel like I've accomplished something and I've conquered something. Oh, I see ATV up there. Finally, open field. Ouch. Take a break. Soak in this scenery. This beautiful view. Yeah, we'll play here. You wanna play ball? Sit. Yes. Good boy! Come on, bring it here! Um, another fork. Which way should we go, Lincoln? This one looks like more of a path. I think we'll take that one. Okay. Gosh, this trail is so confusing. Which way to go? I don't want to get lost either. Um, maybe we'll climb up there. Let's see what's up there. So my Fitbit says that we've done about 45 minutes of walking, hiking, 1.20 miles in. So about halfway done. Um, we did take those detours, that one detour in the beginning. So out of the 45 minutes, I'd probably say we've done around half an hour or so. It's very pretty, really relaxing and calming. Oh, poor Lincoln just got spooked right now. There was a motorcycle that passed by and it passed right in front of him. He got so scared, my poor boy. I'm gonna put it on the TikToks and I'll put the link down below if you guys wanna see it better. Oh, you know what? I think we are back where we started. Motorcycle. Did you hear the vroom vroom? I guess we went around. How oh, cool. Did a little bit of a loop. So I guess we finished it or we made it to the end. Now we gotta go back. Yeah, let's do a training session. Super quick, like two minute training session. He didn't seem very motivated, very interested. I think he's just tired. He wants to go back, back home. Hi Lincoln. A lot of these juicy, big juicy ants on this trail. They kind of freak me out. I feel like those are like the ones that bite. Come on. Let's get you some more water. No. Oh. Now that I've pretty much completed it, went to the end, I don't feel less scared. Uh, as I did in the beginning so this is another reason why I put myself through these kinds of things in life because you think that it's more your brain your mind your thoughts racing thoughts think that it's more than what it really is it almost feels kind of silly that I was so 
I'm so afraid to try something new. Oh, oh there's like a little mouse. Lincoln, Lincoln. What did you see, huh? What did you almost drag me across for? Uh, I think he sees the little rodents. No, no, Lincoln. Come on, leave it alone. Lincoln. Oh, so Lincoln has a pretty high prey drive. He likes to chase anything that moves fast, pretty much. Uh, rodents, bunnies, uh, chickens, ducks. And he's on high alert right now because he hears a lot of the little uh, rustling noises in these bush areas. Come on, let's keep going. Ew, he farted. Damn, Lincoln. He's smelly butt. I had to use the e-collar on him. Just the vibration setting is enough for him. He knows, he understands that that's a correction. It just snaps him out of that thought process of like whatever he is currently in. So in that moment, his thought process was hunt and prey drive forward. So the vibration snapped him out of that. Sometimes with his selective hearing, he won't listen to my voice. He's still a teenage puppy. His breeder actually told me that we will get our dog at like around two years old. That's when they mature and they actually listen to you better. They're out of that teenage adolescent phase somewhat and well, hopefully for now it's just you know give and take constant battles. I really like this trail because I mean I've only seen one I only saw one person on this trail which was that guy on the motorcycle which is nice it's a uh, pretty peaceful here relaxing very private yeah so with the prey drive that's something that is instinctual some dogs have it some dogs don't and if they have it then they they have it there's only so much training out of that that you can do I just try to be extra careful in certain areas, certain situations, and I make sure I always have uh, the e-collar because that's very, very effective on Lincoln. And I don't know what I would do without the e-collar. I think I would just like lose hope, all hope, because he's just a very heavy dog. He's not a mean dog. He's not aggressive, and he's just very playful. He's very large, and I don't think he realizes how big he really is because he's just so clumsy. He's like, he steps over to you, He's always like pushing you, bumping into you by accident and still a puppy and he wants to play sometimes and he wants to explore sometimes and in most situations it's not always acceptable. A lot of people get very scared of him and very worried that he's gonna attack them when he doesn't, he's not even showing any sign of aggression. He's never had. Point of the story is that I am super happy to actually try out e-collar on him because that gives me a peace of mind as well to be able to take him out to places because he has such a big prey drive and also food food drive as well i think they go hand in hand the prey drive is there because of his food drive he's a very ravenous dog so oh no you have a little fly on you so he tries to hunt for his food <laughs> he's always super hungry we're just resting we're chilling giving him a little bit of a break you have like a lot of little dirt on you lincoln Nastiness on you. Yucky. Yucky, yucky. Are you ready to go? We are almost to the entrance and we have officially completed two miles. Well, actually, 2.12 miles at this point. And an hour and 25 minutes. So, yeah, we took a little bit of a longer time than expected but we did have a lot of pit stops rests i don't want to push lincoln too hard either just taking it slow for him and we made it that was me lincoln i fell <laughs> here I do have the leash locked. Look both ways before crossing the street. Come on. Okay. Let's get inside.
I'm not thirsty? Oh, you just wanna go home. You made me waste the whole bottle. All right, we're back in the car and I'm feeling a lot more clear-minded. That was a really good hike and I feel so much better. Even though I was alone, Lincoln never lets me feel alone. Huh, Lincoln? If you made it this far, thank you so much. I would appreciate if you like this video. It really helps the channel out. We did 2.35 miles and it took an hour and a half. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.